This is brand new, so none of us have seen it before. It's a six-part drama, and it's set in a school in Yorkshire, as we've just seen. Uh, so the town has quite a divided white and Asian population, and there was two separate schools, segregated schools, and they've closed down. So everybody has to come together in this sort of multicultural academy for the first time, and I guess let the drama unfold. Exactly. Exactly, and it's, it's lovely actually because we start, you know, at the beginning of the show there's, there's kind of scenes where uh, they, for instance, choose, uh, choose a rugby team and they say, well, if you were captain at the last school and you were captain, you'd be captains and they all pick their own teams and there's right. this, you know, huge divide and then, you know, throughout the show, I think it's a really good signal of what comes throughout the show where, you know, everybody's working together and getting thrown together and, yeah. and, and they become one team. It's and I think, I think it's really refreshing that we haven't seen this format of a story being told yet and it's great that we're using a teenage Ages and young every generation should have some connection with this show whether it's the kids who are at school at the moment people who used to be at school who've just left and the, and the parents and teachers so yeah. we're sort of touching a few generations in one drama which I yeah. think is and fun. not uh, not all drama school students in in the cast no there was no. a mixture of uh, street casting, particularly with the students, with the young ones, um, because of our fabulous uh, first director, Penny. Um, that's, she'd kind of worked in documentary as well as film, and, and so she was kind of a bit grittier in the way she wanted to deal with things, which was perfect Brilliant. for the piece, wasn't it? Yeah. And so um, our main girls, Amy and Poppy, are very well experienced actresses, uh, you know, our young girls who are our main leads. Um, yeah. And then they're kind of, they've got a cast, a supporting cast of a mixture of, of trained or, or street casting. And you don't really know which ones are which. I don't know whether your viewers will be able to tell because they are all really good and they're so natural yeah and I think that's the key for something like this you want to feel like this is how they naturally behave in a school, in a school. it's very timely isn't it? <laughs> it really is timely I mean obviously sadly we didn't realize how timely it would be um, the last few weeks uh, but, but I think it's also a positive thing to be to be able to watch something on TV where we don't usually talk about these issues and sometimes I think it's it's got a banner over it that people will expect it to be political but it's actually not a political show it's this is a human then. yeah it's yeah. a real drama about what's going on somewhere in the world right now mm. and uh, and i was really proud to be part of something like that would you would you um would you have liked it to have been braver i think uh, i think it has been uh, you know brave if you can say that just just in the the subject matter I mean, it's timely certainly yeah. and it's their first eight o'clock drama that channel four have done for a while so actually i think Possibly you'd expect more from Channel 4 at 9 o'clock, uh, say. Yeah. Um, but also it's the, it's the kind of, it's a new slot for them, uh, you know, recently. And I'm sure if they went again, they, they would gauge things and yeah. decide whether they to be braver or not. I was going to say that, Joe. I think they will get braver as you get to, if, if you watch all six episodes of this show, I don't think you might liken it as much as you are to Waterloo Road. Mm. I think after watching the six, you'll call it a, a different show in yes. itself. Yeah. And then you can be braver. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, then absolutely. you can go, now you know who we are, now let's explore brand new yeah, territory. Yeah, boundaries a bit. And, and lovely for you two to be working together yeah. again. And, so and you, did you read, did you get a flat and you were living together? Because you didn't well, have many scenes Well, not together. initially. I had a flat and you, you oh, we had no scenes together. And after about the first week, I went, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Look, just move in. I've got a spare room. The kids aren't here. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, Joe, we can't so, yeah. do that. We'll never get any sleep. We'll we never... didn't and stop we didn't get talking. We didn't stop talking. We thought... Within two weeks, we'll be bored of each other. We'll have had enough. Ten weeks in, and we were like, I still what am I going to do when moving home? <laughs> How am I going to move it's home? It's been ten years since we've worked together again, and we've been desperately waiting for a project to come up where we would work together again. And then of all the things, here so we did are, you know you were both up home? for this? Literally, I think a couple of days between us, wasn't it? We knew we were both we'd both been for it because yeah. you know you kind of we'd seen each other anyway, and we'd been for lots of things. And and then I went to her. Please tell me you're coming to Halifax with me. About yeah. two days later, she went. Oh, I read the script and I, I, I texted Joe and said, there's a script I'm, I really think you should be seen for because you're, I like, I've already been seen for that. And I was like, oh, great. And then when we got the job, of course, my job is a completely different job than one I've done before. Mm -hmm. I'm playing an Asian woman who doesn't sound anything like I do and doesn't look anything like I do. So it's a massive challenge for me to play yeah. something that viewers who've watched me on TV before... You know, my voice is completely different and working <laughs> with Jo, she was making me laugh. She's like, are you going to sound like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's just I mean, it's bizarre seeing you in any kind of, yeah. I can't yeah, wait to hear what you sound like. In a hijab like. and, you know. Was you there? don't want to know how I talk because when I'm talking like that, I've got lots of different things going on in my head and I'm like... <laughs> oh, it's just great, like isn't this. it? But I when you know her so well, it just makes me giggle, which is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> was there, was there whilst you were in that flat and uh, chatting into the long hours, was there talk of Strictly? <laughs> oh, 
you, there was talk of everything. There was strictly, and then also your your um, who do you think you are had just come oh, out. So we watched yes. that in tears together, didn't we? Gosh, um, yeah. There was talk of strictly. Did she talk you into doing it ever? No, yeah. no, because you know what? Unfortunately, it. I've got so many good friends who've done it, like Jake and Scott and Zoe, and you know, uh, who all tell me it's the most terrifying thing they've ever done. So actually, I think I'm almost too yeah. close. If I didn't know anybody who'd done it, I'd probably go, yeah, I'd be up for that. How hard can it be? I reckon you two should be. No, I'm just joking. Two left feet. Yeah. Um,